Welcome back to 2A News Now. My name is Troy, and I really do appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. Real quick before we get into today's video, if you haven't heard, I started a new YouTube short channel, and it's called You Can't Handle the Truth. And on that channel, I cover politics and current events. And my goal is to post at least one short video there a day. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check it out. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. Democrats in Congress have proposed a new law that would outlaw bulk ammo sales and also require background checks on all purchases of ammunition. Democrats on Capitol Hill last week debuted an effort that would place a series of federal government controls on consumer ammunition sales. You got to hear the name of this bill, the Ammunition Modernization and Monitoring Oversight Act, for short, the Ammo Act. These Democrats, they're brilliant, aren't they? And the bill was introduced by the usual cast of characters. In the Senate, Elizabeth Warren, a Democrat from Massachusetts, and Richard Blumenthal, a Democrat from Connecticut, and in the House of Representatives, Robert Garcia, a Democrat from California, and Debbie Wasserman, Dogface Schultz, a Democrat from Florida, would adopt a very California-like bullet control regime on a national level. California's 2019 law installed a voter-approved measure that requires all ammunition buyers in the state to undergo a sometimes pricey and lengthy background check from a licensed dealer before they can purchase their ammo while placing restrictions on home delivery of ammunition. The 13-page Ammo Act is a mirror image of California's background check requirements under threat of a fine of up to $250,000 and would use the FBI's NICS background check system and to help fund the massive increase in background checks. The bill authorizes $150 million in additional funds for the use of the NICS system. This would eliminate home delivery of ammunition in most cases, forcing those that buy ammo online to have it delivered to a local FFL for transfer. Of course, most likely with an additional fee added on. Those completing a check would have to show a valid identification and include their name, address, and a signature on a form devised by the U.S. Department of Justice. Further, the proposal would restrict what it deems to be bulk ammunition sales, which it defines as more than 100 rounds of 50 caliber ammunition or more than 1,000 rounds of any other caliber of ammunition in any period of five consecutive days. And of course, this bill has the support of all of the gun-hating groups, including Everytown, Brady, Giffords, March for Our Lives, the Community Action Justice Fund, the Newtown Action Alliance, the National Institute for Criminal Justice Reform, Voters for Tomorrow, the Sandy Hook Promise, Orange Ribbons for Gun Safety, and Guns Down America. According to Chris Brown, who is the president of Brady, Right now, any person can legally purchase tens of thousands of rounds of ammunition in one transaction. No questions asked, not even a background check. The bill has been introduced in the Senate as S-3223 and the House as H.R. 1672. It's obvious what the Democrats are trying to do. They want to make it harder and harder for law-abiding citizens to be able to purchase ammunition that could be used for target practice and also ammunition that would be used for home defense and self-defense. People trying to protect themselves, their families and their property from lawless people who don't follow these laws because they're criminals. If this bill was passed, it's not like the criminals would go, oh my gosh, I can't buy any ammo because when I go to purchase it, I've got to pass a background check and I'm not going to be able to. It's the same thing with firearms. They will have people that don't have records doing straw purchases of ammunition as well. Or they'll just get it off the streets or steal it out of people's houses. And also you hear about all these break-ins at gun shops stealing firearms. And this will just push them to break into these gun shops and steal the ammunition as well. As always, these bills will do nothing to stop violent crime. And the thing is, the Democrats know that. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about today's video in the comment section down below. And I appreciate everybody's support with the channel. And if you're new to the channel, and if you want to help the channel out and help it grow and get us over that 60,000 subscriber mark, just take a few seconds of your time and like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And I hope to see everybody back in my next video.